Hey everybody, I'm John Dar. I wanted to make a video about business income. That's probably the emails and the questions and the calls. The most common call that we've received is regarding business income. Is it covered? If not, why is it not covered? How do we uh, get back some of this income that we've lost? It seems like insurance should cover it. Let me first start by saying every policy is, is somewhat different. My first direction would be refer to your policy. Read the policy about business income. Um, become familiar with what the terms of business income are and what the trigger is for having business income covered by your insurance policy. The trigger for coverage for business income is direct damage to property at the described location from a covered peril resulting in a suspension of operations that results in a loss of business income. All right, so let's break that down a little bit. Direct damage to property. That's where the coronavirus is missing. There is no direct damage to property like a fire, hurricane, tornado, tree falling through the roof, something like that. That's clearly direct damage to the property. There's not a situation that I know of where the coronavirus has done direct damage to a property. Now, with that being said, there are some cases where the or a virus has been found in a place of business and the government or civil authority has come in and shut them down. Um, when that happens, there are cases where the insurance company has paid business income. Unfortunately, a general government or civil authority shut down it does not constitute we i haven't seen any claims being paid when that situation occurs so let me talk quickly about the civil authority for the coverage to apply when it re with regards to civil authority there must first be direct physical loss to property at the described location from a covered peril and then a civil authority must prohibit access to the premises so understand what that means. There has to be direct physical damage again from a covered peril and a civil authority's gotta step in and shut you down. That's unfortunately not necessarily the case in a lot of situations. Um, I hope I'm wrong, but that's the way it reads. So I just wanted to give you that information. So unfortunately, I don't think most business income is going to be covered by uh, the insurance policies that, that we have sold or um, anybody has sold. So I know that's not great news. Now, the government is talking about um, coming in and forcing these insurance companies to pay business income. Um, as of today, Friday, March 20th, that hasn't happened, um, but they are talking about that. So here's my suggestion. If you've got a business that is severely affected by, um, by the coronavirus, meaning, I mean, restaurants are a key example, anything with tourism, travel, that sort of industry is, is con completely, um, ravaged with with very little income keep notes take records um, document what you've got you are always welcome to file a claim um, my suggestion always is first file a claim as agents we don't have the authority to deny a claim that is not what we do so if you've got something that you feel like should be covered my suggestion is absolutely go file a claim. We can help you file a claim. You can file it directly um, with the carrier if you'd like. However, that, however you want to do that, that's fine. But I just wanted to come in and talk about business income because it is absolutely 
the number one question right now for a lot of our businesses that we care so much about is, John, what do I do? I, I don't, I need business, I need income to pay my folks. Um, you know, unfortunately, I don't have an answer for that. And, and insurance, the insurance industry as a whole doesn't really have an answer for that. Nobody ever saw this coming. Going forward, I think the insurance industry, uh, as we come out of this, um, will have some options. I hope this helps. Um, thanks so much for watching. Um, we are going to monitor the whole business income situation as closely as possible. If something changes, you will be the first one to know. If you're a client, thanks for being a client. We appreciate it. We are all in this, in this together and we are going to do everything in our power to, to get through this. So thanks for watching. Take care.